Meine Damen und Herren, ich Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome Russian President Vladimir Putin here at the palace. This will afford us an opportunity to continue our dialogue. Considering that we have so many serious conflicts in the world, we need to look for solutions. We have special responsibility, both Germany and especially Russia, because Russia is a permanent member of the UN Security Council. We need solutions to all those problems, primarily Ukraine, this is something we've been working on for a long time. I have to say that so far we don't have a stable ceasefire, so seeing that uh, school year will start soon, I, I hope that we could discuss a lasting ceasefire and set up a commission that would uh, contribute to the peace process. Germany is uh, ready to get involved in this work. We will also talk about gas transit. I think that Ukraine should continue to be involved in gas transit to Europe even after the, the Nord Stream 2 pipeline is launched. Another important subject is Syria, of course. We should do something about uh, the humanitarian disaster in this country. Uh, some progress has been made, but uh, uh, the situation is far from being normal. So we particularly hope that we could take some specific steps with the Constitutional Commission. We support uh, the efforts by UN Special Envoy Stefan de Mistura. On uh, the Joint Comprehensive uh, Plan of Action uh, with Iran, we would like to preserve this deal, but we are also concerned about the missile program of Iran. So we'll also discuss this subject. Uh, this is something that we've been talking to Minister Lavrov about earlier in Sochi. We will also discuss our bilateral uh, relations. Naturally, we have the year of Russia in Germany and the year of Germany in Russia. This is a good opportunity to learn more about each other and uh, continue our dialogue. I really hope that our civil societies can work together. I think all matters can be resolved through dialogue. So I really look forward uh, to these talks and now I would ask President Putin to say a few words. I'm very happy that we have uh, an opportunity to have this working meeting. We can talk about our bilateral relations and issues on the international agenda. Russia thinks it is extremely important to work with Germany on a variety of issues. We'll talk about our trade. Germany is one of our leading partners in trade. Last year, our trade grew by 22 percent, reaching $50 billion. And from January to June this year, we added another 25 percent. German investment in Russia exceeded uh, 17 billion dollars. Over 5,000 German companies work in Russia with a total a volume of trade of over 50 billion dollars. Over 270,000 employees. On the other hand, we have 1,500 Russian companies working in Germany, contributing over $8 billion to various sectors of the German economy. 
In particular, we cooperate in the energy sector. Uh, Germany is one of the primary buyers of Russian energy resources. We've supplied uh, 58 million cubic meters of uh, gas to Germany. Consumption of Russian gas in Germany keeps growing. This year, it increased by 13 percent. Germany is not just a major market for Russian exporters. It also plays an important role in transit to other European countries. This year marks 50 years since the beginning of uh, Russian gas deliveries to Western Europe. Throughout this time, Russia has been a reliable partner delivering natural gas to Europe and making an important contribution to energy security throughout the European continent. Working together with our German partners, uh, we build uh, the Nord Stream 2 project. We hope that this project will uh, improve the European energy system, diversify gas delivery routes, and will meet the increasing demand of uh, the European economy. Uh, in uh, natural gas. Once again, I'd like to stress that the Nord Stream 2 is a purely economic project. It does not mean that gas transit through Ukraine will now stop. I'm aware of uh, uh, the federal chancellor's uh, position. She keeps raising this issue. Uh, all that matters to us is that this transit is economically feasible, makes economic sense. We hope that we will expand our cooperation in other areas as well. As regards industrial cooperation, localizing production of high-tech products in Russia, we discussed such projects at the St. Petersburg Economic Forum. We are also developing our humanitarian cooperation We'll have a year of uh, cooperation between municipalities and regional authorities. There is also uh, a year of uh, scientific partnership, a year of Germany and Russia and vice versa. We are also rebuilding our ties between the two parliaments. In June, we had a delegation of Bundestag visiting our parliament in Moscow. We've set up a bilateral commission, which involves the State Duma representatives and members of Bundestag. Our civil societies continue working together as part of the St. Petersburg dialogue. As regards international issues, Madam Chancellor just mentioned some of the things that we are going to discuss today. We'll talk about the situation with the Iranian nuclear program and the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. It is extremely important to preserve the deal which has been reached with the direct involvement of the UN Security Council, strengthening non-proliferation regime. We will also talk about the Middle East, of course, and Syria specifically. We need to step up our humanitarian efforts in the Syrian conflict. We need to deliver humanitarian aid to the people of Syria. We need to help the areas where refugees can return. I, I'm not talking about refugees living in Europe, of course, even though this is also this also makes sense. But in Jordan, there are millions of refugees. In Lebanon, in Turkey, there are three million refugees. This is huge burden for Europe. So we should do our best to help those people return to their homes. We need to help rebuild water supply, sewers, uh, health care services. I think everybody is interested in that. Of course, we'll also talk about Ukraine, as uh, Madam Chancellor has said. Given uh, the current state of the crisis, unfortunately, we don't see much progress. We don't see the Minsk agreements being implemented. We will continue working in the Normandy 4 format and we'll continue providing assistance to the UN uh, mission working there. Hopefully we will make progress in this area as well. 
So, in general, we have a lot of things we need to cover. Once again, I would like to say I'm grateful to Madam Chancellor for this opportunity. Thank you. Uh, Mr. President, could you please tell us about the wedding in Austria? Well, it was a good trip, but it was a private matter.